Greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Watson, and I am in the Diocese of Memphis, um, and um, I'm part of men's ministry and I've uh, been kind of active here in the diocese for a while doing some communication. Um, I wanted to share something that came to me um, uh, in adoration um, last week. Uh, I want you to picture something, most likely this will be more for religious cloistered orders, um, but um, it's hard to say where and how all this could be used. So the concept is this, I want you to imagine a um, perpetual adoration with cam uh, candle operas around where candles can be lit. And let's say um, it's in the middle of the night or whenever it is and you um, something's happened to a loved one or you really feel the need to, to pray fervently for someone in need or for some reason. So you'll go to um, the religious's website and um, you'll submit a prayer request for your loved one and you'll also submit um, you'd like to have a candle lit for them so depending on the size of the candle this all the details can be worked out I'm just gonna go with a simple scenario Let, let's say that it's for Mike that's had a car accident you submit what's happened and you spend twenty dollars and you ask a candle to be lit for Mike well the, the prayer request comes in to the adoration and you figure out a really easy way to just show the name of the loved one that needs the prayer if whoever's in adoration can receive the prayer and then they can in turn you can watch them on a webcam as they get up and they light a candle for your friend so uh, I, I want your imagination to kind of go wild. You're really only limited. Uh, the technology is there. It would not be hard to set up a way to submit prayer. It would not be hard to be able to have that prayer received and a candle lit in a very timely manner. Um, this could even be used at churches that have perpetual adoration um, where the lay are willing to look for prayer requests and light. You'd just be streaming the camera operas. Um, and you could even write on a dry erase board the, the person you're praying for's name and the person in the Adoration Chapel could write the name and show it in front of the live webcam. Uh, I, I think the way that this connect could connect lay to religious, uh, just the, the prayer, the interaction, um, I think this could change the world to be able to get inside cloistered communities to be able to have prayers prayed for and interact and kind of even be a financial lifeline for orders that are struggling financially. Uh, not to mention um, the candle orders it would be a good time to <laughs> take some stock and some candles. But you could have different, you could have tea candles, you could have different size candles, but it, it, the technology would be pretty easy to set up to allow uh, people to be able to go and request a candle to be lit. Uh, I think this could go all the way to the Vatican where you could have candles lit anywhere in the world wherever you want them um, but it would be um, pretty easy to get the word out that this service would be available by religious communities so that's the idea um, I it, it is a gift uh, that I believe came uh, through adoration so is, I made this little video to share the idea and I wish whoever takes it um, and runs I'd love to know um, if you I'll post to my little Gmail in here. If you end up using this idea, I'd love to watch your um, watch your religious order provide the service. Um, I don't think you need any more than know that this idea and a little imagination could go very far. Um, uh, okay, that's the concept. I wish you all a very blessed day. And um, uh, if you have any questions, I don't think you need me for answers, but I'll leave a I'll leave an email in this video. Have a blessed day.